Hello and welcome. I'm Dwayne Lesner. We'll be walking through setting up software encryption along with using the native local key manager on Nutanix. So first off, what you're going to do is make sure you have the proper licensing in place. With AOS 5.8, you both need to have the ultimate license and then also you need to apply the add-on license to get the key manager to work. So we'll go add new license. My cluster is currently unlicensed. I've already generated a license file. And you can see that I've done it a couple of times. So we'll upload it, hit next. Um, so we have ultimate. And then on the next side, we want to make sure we click off software encryption. So this needs to be on the portal. If you don't have licensing in the portal, you can file a support ticket. Ultimate will come with the add-on license. It should be available in the portal. And if not, you can buy a separate license for encryption regardless of your AOS licensing. So we'll hit generate. We'll go ahead and update our cluster. file that we just generated, apply license, and we should be good to go. Encrypt. This is on a ESXi cluster, so we can do containers one at a time. We don't have to, it's not across the whole cluster. The configuration, we're already um, using the local KMS server. No messy certificates to deal with. Pretty simple to use and get up and going. We have a four node cluster, so we can turn it on. Go add a volume storage. Call it vault. Advanced settings. Enable encryption. We're good to go. We can see now that our vault storage container has been created. We have a new column here with encrypted. It's turned on. And the one other thing that you'd want to ensure is that you back up the data encryption key. So if you go back into data rest encryption, manage keys, you can get a backup of that. It'll be encrypted with this password and download it to a secure spot um, so you can recover from it. That is data at rest encryption using a native local key manager.